you read John 6 from verse 16. John 6 from 16. Where, therefore, many of his disciples, when they heard, yes, let me just do like this. Therefore, many of his disciples, when they heard this said, this is a hard saying, who can understand it? Verse 61, when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, does this offend you? 62, what then if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? It is the spirit who gives life, and the flesh profits nothing, and they are life. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. Okay, 64. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were, who did not believe, and who would betray him. 65. And he said, therefore, I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my father. Can you see that verse there? Amen. Maybe we can read, reaching there, but we'll read God continuing. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, let's talk about Christ. Christ. Christ must be revealed in us. Christ well, the revelation of Christ in our lives. Here yeah, we are reading about the teaching of Jesus. So all the people were following. Last time I, I told you that People were following Jesus because of bread. Here you could see Jesus changing the topic. And say, I am the bread. Come and eat me. And the moment they hear that they were offended. Because they could not get what they wanted. You know, many times Christians become offended. Especially if they live a life of miracles. Searching for miracles. Not knowing that Christ is a miracle for you. Tell you, Christ is a miracle for you. He was given for us. Hallelujah. Amen. The first thing that we can read there, the Bible says, they were offended. If you read verse, uh, you know, 61, it says, that when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained, he said to them, does this offend you? That's the first thing there. And the second one was, he showed them that no one can come to him unless the father draw him to him. Alright, let's read that verse there. He says, verse 65, and he said, therefore, I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my father. This shows that Christianity is not easy. It shows that you have to take decision, but God will take decision. You can take decision to come to church and say so you are living a holy life and you call yourself a Christian. But it is God again who will call you a Christian. You can take a decision to say you are a pastor and preach the gospel, but it is God again who will call you a pastor.
So these people, you could see they were offended. Not understanding the person in front of them was Christ. In other words, it was difficult to identify Christ. It was also difficult to understand his words. To understand that he said, no one can come to me unless God must grant that desire. Look at this verse, we can read this one. Okay, look at verse uh, 66. Verse 66. Then from that time, many of his disciples went away. Let me read it. Therefore, let me read what? 66. It's 66. It says, from that time, many of his disciples, because they heard it was difficult, went away. And then we went back and walked with him no more. 67, then Jesus said to the 12, do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. 69, also we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ the son of the living God. Here Jesus was not begging them. Look here, Christianity, you are not supposed to be begged to follow. Remember the first one, they were offended. The second one, Jesus told them that it comes from the Father to draw you. Unless it happens, you, you won't follow me. The third one, he gave them a choice. And say, even you, if you want to go, you can go. The last thing Peter said, it was a revelation. Let me read that revelation. It says what? Let's read from verse 68. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the ways of eternal life. If you can read there, you will understand that Christianity is not based on what you can get from Christ. After you know, they fail to get bread from He said, come and eat me. I'm the bread of life. When they were listening, they were offended. Others, they say, we can't work with him. He can't provide what we need. This is the main problem in Christianity. Provision does not determine our Christian level. Provision does not determine how far are we. To be rich, to be blessed, to be what? To have money. Does not mean that you are spiritual. But he said, come and eat me. Come and eat me. They say, this is a hard saying. We can't provide now. Let's go away. And after they went away, he was left with the disciples. He called them, come. Even you. If you want to go away. I'm sure he did that. I said, so you can go away. I mean, if we can be pastors like that, we will be very much powerful. After the whole church went away, you are left with 12 people. 
And you call 12. Can you just call 12? Let's call 12 here. Stand here 12. Call them. It's 7 now. Yeah, we can call 7. Call 7. One shot. Let's get one from you. Let's get one in. Let's get one here. Yes. All of you went away. It means pastor has lost the church. Pastor lost the whole church. This preaching doesn't make sense. I mean, he, he did a miracle here, but he left with this one. So he left with this one. I want to show you what Jesus did. When you will see them going, scattered. He waited for them to be visible at the distance. So that they can choose to join those words. Or remain. Either they join the majority. Or him alone. He went to them. Are you the one who's left? Even you, if you want to follow them, you can go there. After Jesus did that, he turned. And they followed him. When they followed, one among them was Peter. He spoke for them. He said, Where do you want us to go? I mean, we have found you have, you have got words of eternal life. We have come to know that you are Christ. The son of the living God. This is what we are lacking today. Go and say that. All right, let me show you from the scripture. It From the scripture. It was not the first time. When Peter found this in Matthew 16, remember they reached a place where uh, Jesus asked them, let, if we can read from 13 to 19. That's where Peter also spoke a revelation. And then Jesus said, it's not flesh and blood that has revealed that to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you just read verse 13? Verse 13. Now, when Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciple, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they answered, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or just one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, the Son of the living God. Then Jesus answered him, Blessed, happy, spiritually, and secured, favored by God, are you Simon, son of Jonah? Because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the scripture that tells us that no one can come to Christ. Unless he found revelation. This tells us that Christianity... Is not for majority, it's individual. After Peter said, We know you are Christ. Remember the question was, What about these people? And then now, the Bible says, Others say, Others say, According to their own oh, yeah. revelations. In other words, people always found different revelations. Different revelations towards Christ. Others say, you, you are like Peter. 
Once you have found Christ, you, you, you define him and say, you are Christ, the son of the living God. I wanted to show you something. Whoever is able to define Christ and find that definition from the Father God, he also get a position that has been placed by God in the body of Christ. To be part of the body of Christ, you must have revelation of Christ from God. Let me say it again. To be part of the body of Christ, you must have revelation from God about Christ. I found many things. Uh, you know, I found that you cannot serve Christ with others the moment you find who's Christ for you. If you read John 7, from verse 40, you will see after Jesus said, those who believe in me, in their bellies they will flow the rivers of living waters. People were offended. Others, they will come and say, Let's they wanted to arrest him. They didn't know. They could not see. They could not understand the one who was speaking. But he said, those who believe in me, those who found that revelation of understanding who I am, they will be things that they will receive in them. Listen, you cannot found the revelation of Christ without believing in him. That's why Jesus said, you That's why Jesus said are you left? Please go away. Because because Jesus didn't want to have majority of the people who are going nowhere. If we can read going down there, the Bible says, when the Bible says, we have come to know that you are Christ. Jesus, Jesus said, said, I know you are following, but there's one person who will betray me. Because he knows everyone. I don't know if you're hearing me. Tell us about it, my friend. Have you come to know? Look here, the reason why people sin is because they want to know who they are. 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 They want to know who it's a glory that you cannot identify. I mean, you can choose only that glory except others. You can choose only that glory except others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you ask your neighbor? Do you know Christ? Read John 1. You will find who's Christ. Read John 1. You will find who's Christ. On the, on the scripture you know from verse 1. John 1. John 1. Read. Verse 1. Verse 1. Read. Verse 1. Verse 1. John 1. John 1. Read. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. He was existing in the beginning with God. And all things were made and came into existence through him. And without him, not even one thing was made that was come Stop that there. has come into being. Look here. In the beginning Matomo. was the word. No, 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 no. Which word? This is the word. Your Bible. Bible this is the word. In the beginning was the word. And this word and was with God. And this word is and God. If you don't value your Bible, you don't value your God. The word. This is the word. The word God. God, the word in this Bible. Or read it again from verse 1. Read it again from verse 1. 
This is tough today to explain this to you. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. Okay, number one thing that you need to write down the revelation of Christ, Christ, Christ number one is the weight. Write it down. The weight. Number two is God. The weight has been with God and is God. The weight has been with God and is God. Number three, there is nothing that has existence except with the word. What you can write is Christ brought existence of all. Whatever you see was brought by Christ. The weight. The weight. He was with God. So now, if you see whatever you're ex existing around you was brought by the word. The word which is God. That word is Christ. Can you just read, Mama? Read four. Verse four. Yes. Ere. In him was life, mm. and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Look here. In him there is life. And the life is light. And in other words, without Christ. You don't have life. You can see where you're going. You're in the Our dark. Remember that the Bible says he came to his own. Without Christ, you are in the dark. You don't have life. You are a moving grave. So when Christ comes to us. That we accept it, we found the light of men. That brings existence of us. There are some people that we can preach to fast for, but they will never come to existence. Because they need to accept Christ so that the life in them will Exist because listen, you can't exist without Christ. And you can't exist without the way. And you cannot exist without the light. The light of God in you that brings life in you. It's coming from the way. I don't know if you're hearing that. Read, Mama. Verse 5. Five, it says. And the light shines in darkness. Uh -huh. And the darkness did not comprehend it. Six. There was a man sent from God uh -huh. whose name was John. Mm. This man came to, the wit to witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. All right, listen to this. When John is the first preacher <inaudible> who talk about Jesus, others, you know, prophesied him. The first preacher was John. And John was having his church. Let's call it church, but he was having followers. And the moment John got revelation of Christ, what he has been told, he said, he's not even worthy to untie his shoe. 
John was so afraid that even when Jesus came to be baptized, I want to tell you about what happened. When, when Jesus came to, to, to John to be baptized, even before the Holy Spirit came upon him, he had a revelation. He began to say, I can't baptize. No, 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 I can't baptize. Remember the sign of the Holy Spirit came after he was baptized. So he got the revelation of Jesus. Because he was speaking with people when in the baptism. There is one among you. This one among that God chose. Is coming to be baptized, but that one baptized by fire. He had full revelation of Christ. When people send, when they send them to ask him, why are you baptized? He said, I baptize with water, but there's this one who baptized by fire. That one, I'm not even worthy. I'm not even worthy to take out his shoe. I don't know if you're hearing me. And after he was baptized, the Spirit of God came. Okay, already that was a sign to God. The revelation in God was true, which was written. It came like a dove. Okay, from there, Jesus went away. But by the following time, when Jesus was walking, John was with his disciples. So he knew he was not the light. He was there to speak about the light. He saw Jesus. And he said, look, Are, bona, the Lamb of God. Can you see, this is the Lamb of God. Na, kwa na that has taken all he the sins away. away. He has come to take sins away. John could not fight for his John disciples. He showed his disciples As a, hey, listen. Christ is Christ there. there. Run to that one. This is the Lamb of God. This is the light of God. I'm here to testify about that one. And the disciples left the man of God and ran to Jesus when they reached there. Where are you staying, Rabbi? Where do you stay, Rabbi? You say, come and see. I don't know if you hear me. They wanted to stay with him. I don't know if you are hearing that. that. Just say, hey, we cannot fight for people if we know Christ. If we know Christ, we will show people that there is Christ there. Follow Jesus is Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He had a light. And this light was a life of man. He had a life that he gives to men. Which becomes also a light to that particular man. What we need to do today is to follow him. Let me show you something in Colossians. Colossians 3 from verse 1 to 3. Let us read that scripture to help us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many of you are accepting Christ today? God bless you. Can we read there? If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, uh -huh. sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Can you just read Amplified Bible? This one is New King James Version. Arevalenka version yongwe. Yes. Therefore, uh. if you have been raised with Christ to a new life shared in his resurrection from the dead, keep seeking the things that are above where Christ is, seated to the right hand of God. Stop Set there. Stop there. 
I wanted to tell you how you can be with this Christ. The first thing is your effort is needed. The Bible says if Bible in words, your decision how we if you have been raised with Christ, if you were now willing to be taken to be with Christ, if it is your own decision, the second thing, seek habitually. In other words, keep on seeking. Every day you keep on. Do you know most of the time we? Uh, on and off. That's why you have temptations. That's why Temptations are there so that you become off sometimes. But the Bible says, seek the things that are there with Christ. In other words, you don't want anything which is contrary that will make you to be separated with the one you are seeking. Eventually. I'll give you an example. When you start to be blessed, you will see that it's possible to change the way you pray. It's possible. It's really possible. You can be surprised to find that you're no longer fasting the way you were fasting. Keep on doing what you were doing. Because the things that you have been searching, you have found it. But if you have been raised with him and you are with him, nothing on earth can affect your going with him. I don't know if you're hearing that. I've seen that it's not easy. I've seen people pray, 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 pray. After After their their they can't pray again. No more fasting again. When the fridge is full. When the promotion has come. And a promotion of the world. It's really closing our eyes of the revelations. We are no longer keep on searching. If you can do what you were doing before, and keep that level as your level, there is no way that God won't talk. Let me try to tell you one of my levels that I do. I've been raising, it is, I'm not saying go and do it. If I go to, if I'm invited to a place, when I reach that place, I don't want to sleep on the bed. Let's take this is a, a hotel room. I'll make sure that I sleep down. Until I found revelation. Because I know that bed, many people slept on it. I mean, there are things you develop and you don't forget. You don't forget because now you're in the hotel. Okay, I used to be invited. I go with my wife. We we in someone's house. I remember I told my wife the day which is visited us. And I said, my wife, let's take this mattress. We put it down here. If not, we sleep down here. When we are busy sleeping down, witches came on the window. They are asleep. Yeah, they are sleeping. And I say, Mama. Mama we. It means if we have slept on the bed, 
they knew what they will do. If we keep on doing, whether we are blessed or not, we hold our principles of seeking him. Truly, we will walk with him. Truly, we will be where he is. Just as a seeking him, is to say you want to, you want to be where he, where he is. So if you look at that scripture, look at verse 3. Read verse 3. Verse three. Verse three. Yes. yes. It says, for you died to the world uh -huh. and your new life, your real new life is hidden with Christ in God. My God. It says, you people here, you have died to the world. That's how you seek him. You are no longer having desires of the things of the world. Desires. Have you ever found that now your desire is to have a lot of money? I wanted to tell you something. The day God gave, gave you 10 million, you realize it's not money. You need 20 million. 20 million. No, the desires will grow they they grow by the things you are receiving. I don't know if you hear me. Eh? Amen. So you people, you are no longer having desire of the things of the world. There's nothing that can attract you. If you are not attracted, you are not seated with him. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some films you can watch. Because you are not attracted to that. There are some things you won't talk. Remember you are seeking him. You want to be with Christ. You set your mind. Your focus. Eventually. All the time. Christ is your source. Christ is your focus. Okay, look at Luke 2. If you, if you read Luke 2 verse 25. Luke chapter 2 25. If you read there, you'll be surprised of this All right, just read there. It says, two, verse 25. Yes. Now, uh -huh. there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The and man. this man, and this man was righteous and devout, carefully observing the divine law and looking for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It has been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he will not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ, the Messiah, the anointed. Prompted by the Spirit, he came into the temple enclosure. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do him the custom required by the law, Simeon took him into his arms and blessed and praised and thanked God and said, Now, Lord, you are releasing your born servant to live this world in peace according to your word. All right, I want us to look at that scripture. There are only two words that is defined Simeon. He was devoted and righteous. Devoted and righteous. It's devoted means habitually keeping on following the law, which was the word. So this man has been following God. Habitually. So he was devoted. Two, he was righteous. And look here, the Bible says, you heard the Holy Spirit. Because, listen, you cannot find a revelation except by the Holy Spirit. So, Holy Spirit prompted him from where he was, pushed him to the place where Christ was born. Think about that. 
You have to be devoted. You have to be righteous. So that Holy Spirit will work. Taking you towards where Christ is. You know what is happening now? We are not devoted. We are not righteous. But we are claiming that we are filled by the Holy Spirit. Do you know not all works we do we are spiritually dissected from the Holy Spirit? Do you know that when you are, for example, when you are anointed, you can still do anything by the anointing without the direction of the Holy Spirit. You can do anything. So this man had revelation that you, you won't die until you see the Christ, Christ, Messiah. So now it no. takes Holy Spirit to direct him where the Messiah is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he was devoted. Papa. He was righteous. In another way, he Papa hated sin. Sometimes, if you are telling me you are Christian, if, if you are doing wrong, you are living wrong. wrong. It means even the spirit that is working in you is not the spirit. Because there is a lot of things that are happening. But it does not make us to see Christ as Messiah. Messiah. People were there, Jesus was around, denied by his own. There are some people who are very, very much anointed that we are rejecting today. We are preaching the gospel of righteousness and we are devoted. But there are some people that we are just choosing because of the surroundings. Maybe because of the materials they are having. Simeon Simeon had nothing except to be devoted and righteous. This man was happy. When he's sick, he would just say, ah, I, I've, not, I've not seen Christ. He could not rush to the doctor. I, I know why most of the time Christians run to the doctor. It's a lack of revelation of Christ. Because the revelation of Christ will be bring revealing of yourself. I mean, you can't die except you see this person. So the moment when you are sick, you stand up and say, I'm going to preach. I'm going to church. I don't know if you're hearing me. Look what we are saying today because we are lacking revelations. We need the Holy Spirit to direct us to Christ. We need the Holy Spirit to direct us where Christ is so that we will be able to obey Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many of you are hearing? If you are hearing me, let me see you waving your hand. Are you hearing me? Look here. Our Christian life is based on what we can receive from God. No relationship we have with Christ. I mean, our devotion is really affected and also polluted. I mean, when we come to church, it's because we want something. Not because, not because of Christ. I mean, if we, we come because of Christ, we will seek him. Christ and all shall follow us. Do you know that you people, you must know this. If if you seek Christ, Christ. You seek Christ. Christ. All this blessing that people are praying for will seek you. All these cars, houses, whatever, they will search for you. If you seek him every day, you'll get a temptation to to stop seeking him. You'll get a challenge that you carry on. All this blessing will seek you. I see a blessing seeking you. Don't be a blessing seeker. Allow the blessing to seek you. To search for you. 
you, you seek Christ. You, you seek the Christ. kingdom. And everything will happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 4 verse 17. By Ephesians 4 17. The Bible says we must not live Bible like unbelieving people. Because they use the fertility of their minds. Ephesians 4, 17 to 24. If truly we want the revelation of Christ in our lives, we must be contrary to the world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible says, for their moral understanding is darkened by their, by their reasoning, which is clouded. Hallelujah. They are banished from the life of God. When, when I was reading this, I found that there are some people who are in the church, but God has already rejected them. They are banished from the life of God. Amen. 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 Christianity must be of individual. You people, you church, you don't know each other. When you come here, you start to make friends. And you don't know friends, friendship with this one. It's leading you to sin. You don't know whether this person is banished before God. And you are with that person, you are praying. 70% of people who come to our churches are Christians. I don't know if you're hearing me. 3% is Christian. Yeah, you are praying for why God could save Lot's house and even reject his wife on the road and a city. You must learn that God look, does not look at majority, look at you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Why God can save minority all the time? Why modima plus abamalo afela mitayo yote? Small people allow them to come back. But banya ni fe banya na tu melor babu ye. From the where they were taken as refugees. Oto amola ne ba cheri gona or ba yo ba mahoba. Always you'll be surprised to find that God will allow people to die off. Mitayo yoto to makala modima to tu melor ba tu ba fele. Because they are banished. Even if you can give them time, they won't repent. Kale ba kala or ba tu ba se chipan chichu chwe kan te kole ba kafu wana koba. The time of the great waters. It was only one family of Noah. The whole world was filled with water. Not long, I was beginning to think people are thinking revival is of majority. Revival must start from you. Don't like Christ. You'll be challenged because you know Christ. You have problems, challenges, sickness, opposition, but when you stand carrying on, the spirit of Christ will be with you. Direct you to the right direction of it. I don't know if you're hearing me. So don't be robbed by the things around. People are around. I don't know if you're hearing me. Otherwise you'll be surprised very soon. If you rob by people around, you'll be surprised very soon. Christ must be of us. In you, it must be revealed to you. My wife was asking me a question. She said to me, but why people when they are trusted, they end up sinning. I told her that the issue is they've arrived and they forgot the issue of working with God every day of their life. Because some blessings are not blessings. We need to know that Christ is our own blessing. Above Christ all, Christ must be the ultimate. ultimate. When money comes, when everything comes, when will deprive your working with God. And Christ will be 
I mean, diminishes. And you find that you are focusing on what will bring what you desire. I'm today that you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. I pray today that you see Christ as the ultimate. He must be revealed to you. Can I say this to you? When Christ is revealed to you, oh, we can't talk about sin. I mean, we can't talk about sin in our lives. You know very well that there is someone in you. You will be able to speak like Paul. He is unto me. He is greater than the one unto the world. In other words, Paul was saying, I'm not thirsty of my surroundings. I'm not thirsty of my surroundings. Even if I don't have money, but I've got something inside me. Even if I don't have money, but I've got something inside me. Even if I'm looking like I'm suffering, but there is something in me. When Paul says, I want to know Christ, I want to know him, he was referring to seeking every day without an experience. We are living Christianity of experiences. That is why Holy Spirit is no longer involved. But once you take Christ in you, Every day you will seek his will. Every day you will seek him. And forget you have seen him yesterday. You won't use a prayer of yesterday or today. Every day you will love. You want to walk with him. You want to serve him. There's a desire on you. And when he did that, he will give you peace. He won't give you money. He will give you peace. That surpassing all the money. That surpassing all the blessing. If you believe, say amen. amen. Let me give you the last scripture. I mean, if you want Christ, lift up your hand. I can see you love Christ. Now. Galatians 5, verse 24. Those who belong to Christ must crucify. Their sinful nature. You see that verse? Crucify your sinful. Can you just read that verse in Amplified? Verse 24. Verse 24. Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. It says, If we claim to live, 24. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature together with its passions and appetites. Read it again. Listen to that. And those who belong to Christ, uh -huh. Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus, have crucified the sinful nature mm. together with its passions and appetites. Together with its passions and appetite. Those who belong to Christ. So listen to this. Your ability to deal with the sinful nature. Determines your stand before Christ. If truly you say, I'm a Christian. And there is still some Your Christianity is questionable I think this is the time that You question your Christianity Before you lie you rectify yourself Before you go out to sin You judge yourself Crucify Listen To crucify it means you will feel pain you will feel pain. You will feel pain to leave your friends. You, you, you will deprive yourself from some things that people are desiring. There are some tastes that people are enjoying that you will not, you won't love to taste them. I don't know if you're hearing that. Let me say it again. Learn to deprive yourself. Those who know they have got future and an assignment with God. There are things they will stop doing. Even if they look like they are better. You know, if you can read the book of Acts, 
Let me just show you. Maybe you can go to chapter 15. Chapter 15. Write it down, but I will explain to you. Verse 7. Go to 17. Chapter 17. Yeah, just go 17, right from 1 to 15. Yeah. You'll be surprised. They go and read there. You find two groups. I'll explain those two groups for you. The first group, group was Thessalonians. Thessalonians, when Paul reached to them, to there were some Jews there. Jews they stood against him. The Bible says he was telling them who is Christ. He was revealing Christ. The Jesus is Christ. Some Jews who were there fought him. But the second group was in Berea. Berea. Those ones in Berea. Berea. When Paul preached to them, Paul and to show them, the Bible says when they reach home, they open scriptures and read Babala. to check if Paul was Paul speaking the truth from the word. And many of them believe Christ. In other words, the relationship with Christ with them was established. This, in Thessalonica, they were fighting. In Berea, they accepted. They accept Christ to be the Lord. Through scriptures, the Bible says they were more noble than the one in Thessalonica. They were observant. They searched scriptures. They all speak, they search. And they take it. We Christians, we don't take scriptures no, no, today. We don't believe. We need to take scriptures to make Christ clear to us. It must be clear to us. He said he will come to us. I don't know if you are hearing me. He said, I'm not going away. I will come back to you. He can be clear. He can be revealed. You need to come to you. You need to feel him. You need to touch him. You need to hear from him. We need Christ today. He must be be clear when he speaks with us. I pray today that you make relationship with him. If you believe, say amen.